Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And today we are gonna take a look at the golf swing of your first round leader of the Amundi Avion Championship. And that's South African golfer, Paula Reto. Paula fired a first round 64 today, seven under par to give herself a two shot lead heading into round number two. Let's go ahead and take a look at her golf swing here. And one of the things we're gonna start pointing out here is that if you start feeling stuck in your golf swing, you feel like your hands are behind your body, we're gonna show you something here that you can do that's gonna help keep your hands more in front of your chest on the way down. First of all, let's take a look at her setup position here. Very athletic setup position. Really like the position of the knees here, how they are positioned very nicely over the toes. Very good knee bend there, good setup position. Nice straight spine. As she starts to take the golf club away, you can see that the golf club is going to move back by a rotation of the upper body. Nice extension in the arms here. Lead arm is pretty much on line with the alignment line of her feet. You can see at this point too, golf club is going to be just slightly outside the hands. Maybe that golf club there, the face of that club is just a little bit open to what her spine angle would be, but still a very, very acceptable, acceptable position. You're going to play really good golf from that spot. As she starts getting to the top of the swing, okay, we're going to get the golf club up here. You can see the club here, the left arm, lead arm's a little bit more upright than we see from a lot of players today. Now, when I say upright, what I'm talking about is you can see her trail shoulder there. So the left arm is obviously a little bit higher than that trail shoulder. At the top of the swing, the butt of the club here, very, very good position because as you can see with that line, Definitely right down over those ankles. So she's in a very, very good position at the top of the swing. But this is the move that she makes here that prevents her from really feeling what we would say stuck in the golf swing. The downswing starts with the lower body here. But as she starts to move down, you can see the hands drop down first. Too many times we see amateur players at this point start really trying to spin their upper body hard. And if you're spinning your upper body hard, then what happens is your hands are going to get stuck behind you. So from the top of the downswing, from this position, start feeling like your upper body and your back, your back stays to the target a little bit longer. Not a ton of time. It just might be a split second, but that's going to allow your hands to start dropping down a little bit further. And it's going to allow you to keep your hands more in front of your body. So as now she gets into an impact position here, we're going to see very, very good position of the left wrist there. Nice and flat. That's going to lead to a very nice square club face as she gets in an impact position. Now as you're here, we can see that the right foot just starting to come off the ground slightly there. So she's got the hips definitely a little bit more open than what the shoulders are. We can see here, definitely cannot see that lead shoulder. So she's still keeping that square. Too many times, again, at this position, the hands are going to be here, but from an amateur player's perspective, the shoulders are going to be just about as open as the hips there. So that's how you get stuck in the downswing. So if you're someone that feels like you're getting stuck a lot, feel like from the top of your swing, you're going to actually keep your back to the target a little bit longer. Transfer that weight to the lead side. Let your hands feel like they're dropping down in the downswing first. Keep that back to the target a little bit longer. Your ball striking will improve. You'll start hitting more quality approach shots, hitting more greens and regulation, and shooting lower golf scores today.